Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man. You already know. Bringing to you some more of my team. I went through the comments and I actually decided to just post every game. But don't get it twisted, man. If there's a rage quit, I'm not going to post like a two-minute rage quit video. You know, some games, they're going to be combined. So we're going to be good. Like the journey, it's going to be a real journey. I want y'all to see me start from the bottom and move my way up to a decent squad. So you see my opponent? His silver card is Matt Bonner. I mean, I guess you can do what you want. You know my lineup. We running through that Gerald Green. I mean, he is a mini LeBron, right? He is a B silver card. So Gerald Green, he's really going to be my go-to person on offense. But look at this, man. This dude, starting off the game, he wasn't playing. I had to show off that strange drain real quick. I mean, you're going to leave my squad open? You can't be doing that. I have a perfect squad for my play style. I have people that can dunk, people that can post up, people that can shoot. So I can really come out here and do what I want. All I got to do is lock up on D. Once again, he wasn't playing D. He wasn't here just leaving Gerald Green wide open. Like, come on, son. He might have been busy. Parents bothering him and stuff like that. But, you know, either way, no remorse. I don't care what you're doing. If you leave me open, you know I'm shooting a three. So he's at the line, missing free throws. I'm pushing it up court. But I'm going to slow it down, man. I was looking for the oop to Gerald Green. But it's too early in the game for that. We're only up wide. What? Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Gerald Green just hit me with the hell you mean, D-Man. Too early in the game for what? It's never too early to style and profile. Gerald Green is just out here dominating. Like, it's unfair to have Gerald Green in these lower seeds. So my opponent coming out shooting a contested three-pointer, that's what I want. I want you to shoot bad shots because you know we on this fast break. And Gerald Green, once again, going in for another nice slam, throwing it down. Hey, if you shoot a bad shot, you know I'm leaking out. So I noticed that Gerald Green, he was kind of on fire. He was doing his little thug thizzle. And look at this. They try to bring the double team. It does not matter. This is so unfair, but I'm loving it. I mean, it is what it is, right? Everybody can get themselves a Gerald Green. I mean, to be honest, even when I'm in the fifth seed, when there's no restrictions, I think Gerald Green's still going to be on the squad. I mean, it's not like I have a lot of cards anyway, but Gerald Green, I mean, he's just a permanent card. I mean, look at this. Fast break, styling the profile and throwing the oop up. And we starting to break this game open, mainly because my opponent came out here shooting dumb shots. I mean, it is what it is. I ain't mad at you. He's making one more pass. Look at that. I knew he was going to shoot. I could test it that Gerald Green is all over the place. And I'm going to slow it up. I mean, look at the vision. Gerald Green is going to drop a nice dime right there to Freeland. And Freeland going in for the slam. Gerald Green out here dunking, shooting, passing, defending. I'm telling you, if you haven't started on my team yet, you're kind of behind just like your boy. Pick up a Gerald Green. He's going to set you right. So anyways, we're up by 10 points in the first half. I mean, this game is already looking bad because once I'm up by 10 points, I try to slow the game down a little bit. I try to get quality shots. I mean, that shot right there, it was kind of deep, but come on now, that's Ray McCallum. You know he has the strange range. He's going to knock it down. So we're back on D and we're actually going to give up an M1 right here. Come on now to Landry Fields. The dude that dressed up as Nicki Minaj, like I can't, but it's all good because he's going to miss that free throw and you know it's going down. I see Green going in for the open. He reversing that. Mm, 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 mm. Had to make that stank face. Like, I had to make that chase money face. Like, that dunk was so filthy. And look, I'm trying to get another one right here. But Gerald Green, he's not going to catch it. That's what I get for being greedy. I know Gerald Green, he's probably a little bit tired because he's been out here jamming. So I ain't mad at you, Green. You better not drop the next one, though. So we get a nice board. We was down there banging in the paint. Pause if needed. But our interior defense... It's good too, man. Like I said before, I like the way I set up this squad. I just have everything I need. So you see Antich getting a nice dunk right there. And usually, bronze cards, especially the power forwards and centers, they can't get the job done. But Antich, he be out here balling. And I wish I could say the same for Freeland, but Freeland, he's just a spot filler. He doesn't really do much. So once again, you know the deal. I softened my opponent up with Joe Green, and then I put it in the bench mob, and they just go ham. So we got the bench mob in right now. You know who I'm looking for. I'm looking for my boy Anthony Morrow because last game, this dude was showing out. He was acting like he had no chill, and he does it. So I'm going to go back to Anthony Morrow this game. I mean, look at the pass. Anthony, is that you? I haven't even seen this dude in the league this year, but he out here putting in work today. He already knows the deal. He knows that if he comes in the game, put in a little work, He'll be able to go home early because I'm trying to make my opponent quit. That's the ultimate goal. So my opponent, he's actually getting up real nice right here. I'm calling for that pick and roll. But Morrow, he's too nice. Going in with the off-balance floater. I mean, I may have to drop a bomb for my boy right now. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. I mean, he deserves it, right? Y'all see what he doing off the bench? Anthony Morrow, man, he's trying to get that start too. So anyways, we get a block. Access to nice, throws like a turkey on the perimeter. And check out the ball movement. 
Morrow, he's going to pass it down low to Ryan Hollins. We're going to pass it out to James Jones. And James Jones, one of my most consistent shooters on the squad, he's going to knock that down. One thing I noticed in my team is that some shooters, they're kind of streaky, man. One game they're on, the next game they're off, so you don't really know what to do with them. But James Jones, he's pretty consistent. Like, I really don't have a problem with him, so I like that about Jones. So I'm dropping it off down low to Ryan Hollins, and Ryan Hollins, he's going to dump that down. And this score is just nasty. 43 to 19. The offense was just flowing this game, to be honest. Like, everybody was putting in work, bench mob putting in work you know defense was putting in work they try to push it in down low not going for it i see that fast break i'm gonna pass it over and you know if i'm wide open i'm pulling that and oh i can't believe i actually missed that but it doesn't matter because my opponent said no moss he's gonna quit like everybody in the higher seeds they just quit like why would you quit you losing mt you wasting contracts it doesn't matter so like i said before if there's a rage quit we just gonna jump into another game here. Like, I can't be just posting rage quits, right? The videos will be too short. So I have another opponent. Ugh. Muhammad at the three, Sean Livingston at the four? I mean, it's your first game, so I'm not gonna be too mad at you. That's not what I would have done, but do you, boo boo. Do you. I don't know, man. I just feel like his lineup is all messed up, but that's good for me. So we jumping into this game. You see, he's rocking the Golden State uniforms. I actually like those uniforms from Golden State. But this game, it started off pretty bad. I'm making bad passes. It's like I forgot how to play basketball. You see, he's going to get an easy point right there. And this dude, he was hanging around for a little bit. But I'm not going to spoil the gameplay. So they have a two-point lead. I mean, they came out getting buckets. I came out playing like a bum. So, you know, I have to turn it up. So I have Gerald Green, mainly because he has Muhammad on Gerald Green. That's just a huge mismatch. I mean, the disrespect, you cannot do that to my boy Gerald Green. And I'm trying to get a pass off, but this dude, he's playing off ball, so I got to be careful. So luckily, Gerald was able to take it all the way to the paint. But I will tell you, one thing that was annoying me about this guy is he was one of those dudes that constantly called the double team. And if you don't play 2K, then why are you watching this video? But if you don't play 2K online, a lot of people just run that double team cheese mainly because when you get put in a double team the game makes you throw a bad pass so this dude was just one of those dudes that double team every possession my people wouldn't get open i mean he understood the cheese really well but i ain't mad because you see me taking off i thought about throwing that oop but once again it's too early for all that but i'm starting to get my groove back man i'm starting to get going on offense starting to get going on defense you see he's trying to pass it down low and no sir oh a piece of candy we get a nice deal and i'm gonna just slow it down a little bit don't want to force up a bad shot not yet anyways it's too early and look at that double team pass it to the open man luckily i was able to pass like this dude he didn't know how to do the double team cheese now i'm not going to tell you all how to do it because I mean, y'all gonna come across me online, then y'all gonna double team cheese me and send me a message and I'm gonna be mad. But just know that this dude was doing it all wrong, leaving Gerald Green wide open, leaving my snipers wide open, and that's why I was able to blow this game wide open early. So he's passing out. That was a pretty decent shot, but he just didn't hit it. Luckily for me, I got Gerald Green. I look at the pass down low, and I'm gonna try to open back to Green, but ah, Green, come on, you gotta catch that. But it's all good because I got Ray McCallum. Showing off that strange range at the buzzer again. Just like last video, Ray out here putting in work. So we're up 16 to 8. Once again, my opponent, he's just trying to force it in. No, sir. That interior D, something real. We were able to snag down another board. I'm going to pass it to Gerald Green right here. I'm going to be patient, though. I could have shot it, but I didn't think Gerald Green had that. So, of course, if I'm not feeling sure about it, I'm going to just take my time. And luckily, I did because I was able to run in, get that little floater to go. That's an easy two points. So we back at it, man. Ray McCallum, he has the momentum right now. So I'm going to just wait for it, push it up court. Look at that paint just open up. He's going to finish the contact layup 20 to 10. My opponent, he's going to call a timeout. But you all know what that means, right? Usually when they call a timeout, they get ready to quit. And that's what my opponent is going to do right here, man. He's going to quit the game. And this seed, man, it's just blowing by because people keep quitting. But I do have some complete games coming up soon. Look at this dude. He can't even quit correctly. But I have some full gameplay coming up soon. Can you believe that? Four quarters in my team? I cannot believe it. Anyways, I'll hug you all later. Peace.